Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is going to be my very first video. I decided to come up with a Valentine's look since it is right there. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. And please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you want to see how I did this look, then just keep on watching. So starting off with the eyes, I'm going in with a transition color and I'm going to be using a brown just to help me go into the pink and the purple. Now going in with the pink, I'm just putting it on top of the brown and blending. Um, this does take a lot of blending, a lot of patience, but in the end, it's worth it. So now taking a smaller brush. I am going in with the purple, but I'm focusing more in the crease. I'm just kind of doing like a cut crease, and I'm just adding this to make more dimension. Taking the same pink I used in my crease, I'm going to put this on my entire lid and I'm just going to pack this on to create the really pink color. And going in with the purple again, I'm just defining it even more since it did brush away. And then I'm going in to buff out any hard edges. And now taking some MAC Fix Plus with that same pink color, I'm just going to spray some on the brush in order to make the color a little bit more vibrant um, because I do want the pink to stand out. So just packing that on my lid. And now taking some Too Faced Glitter Glue Primer, I'm just going to put some on the brush, put some in the center of my eye because this is where I just want my glitter. And taking the glitter, I'm just putting it in the center, just really packing it on in order for it to be shown. And this is where someone thought they were a cameraman but it's okay so as you see I'm just focusing it on the center and going back in with the pink just to put some more color since it probably probably did go away <laughs>
So before I finish the rest of my eyes, I'm going to start on my face. I am going in with my foundation and just applying dots here and there to brush out. Now going in with my concealer, I'm just going to put this to hide any under eye circles, highlight my face, and just buff this out. All the products that I do use in this video will be in my description, just in case you do want to know. I'm going in with a little bit more concealer. I'm just using this just to highlight a little bit more because I felt it wasn't as bright as I wanted it to be. I'm just covering some pimples and adding a little bit of contour. And I did go a little extreme, but nothing a little blending can't fix. So to set my concealer, I'm just getting a kind of translucent powder and putting this under my eyes and everywhere I added the concealer. And now I'm going to bronze my face up, also contour with this um, powder. going in with the Morphe collab with Kathleen Lights, my favorite palette. I am going to use one of the browns to do my lower lash line and I really hate this part because no matter what my eye always tears up. So for my inner corner highlight, I'm using this eyeshadow by Catrice. It's really, really good for the price. It's only like four bucks, I believe, and it's so pigmented. Um, I'm just gonna put this in my inner corner to highlight, and also I'm gonna add a little bit of Fix Plus just to give it a little bit more pigmentation.
going in with brows. This is my Holy Grail pencil, the NYX Micro Brow pencil. Um, I've used this for a long time now, and I always keep buying backups. It's my favorite, and I don't feel the need to buy any other one. But yeah, I'm just filling in my brows. I don't go in with the pomade because my brows are already pretty dark. So I just go in with a pencil just to fill them in here and there. Now going in with some concealer, I'm just gonna put this under my brows, along the edges, because I just want to make my eyebrows look a little bit more sharper, a little bit more clean. Now going in with some blush, I'm just going to put this on my cheeks. I just wanted a little bit of color, just so I don't look like too pale. And now for highlight, I'm going to use the same highlight I use for my inner corner. So now for lashes, I'm just applying some mascara, just prepping them because I am going to put some falsies on. So now I'm applying the lashes. You want to make sure when you put on lashes that you wait a little bit after you apply the glue because if you apply them too quick, the glue won't be as tacky and they will slip around. So just wait a little bit until they do get tacky and it'll be easier to stick on. And going in with this lip liner, I'm applying this all over my lips because I am putting on a different lip color on top. And this will be my final step.
This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.